Plants vs Zombies Battle for Nightmare is the third and biggest installment in the Plants vs Zombies franchise. Is it better than its predecessors? Well, uh, that depends on how you look at things. In terms of performance though, it is a tad bit more demanding, meaning that if you were able to run the previous two entries and would like to jump into Plants vs Zombies Battle for Nightmare you might not be happy with how the game runs on your system. So, is there anything that we can do to get these FPS numbers up? Yup. This is not a typical benchmark video that will show you what it's like to play the game on certain hardware, this is a video that will show you what it's like to improve the performance of the game on certain hardware. Before we proceed with the optimization process, uh, you will need to download and install the Low Specs Experience. The download link can be found in the description of this video. Low Specs Experience is a game optimization tool that I developed uh, that will allow you to optimize your favorite games for maximum performance. So, first of all, start the installation process for the Low Specs Experience. Once it's done, uh, start it from the newly created desktop shortcut and uh, select the optimization catalog. From the top of the menu, select the applicable digital platform and then uh, select uh, Plants vs Zombies Battle for Nightmare from this drop down menu. Once that is done, uh, press uh, load the optimization package. Now, uh, if the low specs experience does not automatically verify the installation location, simply select the location where your game is installed, press OK and the optimization control panel will load. When the optimization control panel loads, uh, simply select the optimization presets and the resolution you would like to render your game at. This is something you will need to experiment on your own in order to see what works for the system the best. Once you decide which optimization presets and resolution you are going to use, press the execute optimization button and then uh, start your game. Also, if you are not satisfied with what you see, you can always restore your game to default settings by choosing the restore default option. That's all from me for now, if you like what I do, please be sure to like the video and subscribe for more similar content. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Oh! <laughs>